Hi, hello, good morning. Today I thought that we could spend the morning together, so I thought we would. I'm just about to make some juice. Let's go and see what's in my fridge. Lovely, good morning. What you doing, little winky face? Let's go out and check how the garden is doing, shall we? I actually did a video of revamping my patio. I didn't do it like a sit down and talk through video. I just kind of did like just grabbing random film clips. So I hope you guys still enjoy it, but I will edit that up and get that up in the next little while on my main channel. But for now, this is what my garden's looking like. So on the front side I have some basil, some honeysuckle, and a couple of cilantros. And then back there I have my cucumbers. And up top I have some lettuce, some, I believe this was spinach, some rosemary, beans. Um, I have a tomato plant coming up and around on the corner here. I have some parsley and some little baby sweet peas coming through. And then I have a cauliflower down on this side and I have, like I said, my um, cucumber down on the other side. But yeah, it's starting to green up and fill in and I'm so excited. Every morning I come out and I check what's grown and like what's new. I don't know, I absolutely love it. I missed having a garden so much. This has just been great. I bought this on Etsy, but again, I will probably talk a little bit more about it in the actual video that I do of putting it together and such. First off today, I would like to go to the gym because it has been a while since I've been. I've been really naughty. It's been so nice and so sunny that I just haven't really wanted to do my workouts inside. Um, Vancouver, as I'm sure many of you know, is a very, very rainy place most of the year. So when we get sun, everyone's like, get outside. And then everyone's outside. And that's kind of the mode that I've been in the past couple of weeks. Um, I've also been trying to get back on track since having kind of my digestion stuff blow up. Um, it's probably almost been two months now. I was going to the gym really, really regularly and um, getting like finally seeing results and kind of getting on um, a good routine. And then my eating stuff kind of happened and then I was just solely focusing on not pooping my pants and <laughs> not going crazy. So I kind of let the gym taper off a little bit and just kind of started doing more like walking or like just casual like yoga or like just workouts that way not necessarily like high intensity actual workout workouts so now that I kind of have my diet stuff a little bit more under control I am starting to do a lot more of the workouts that I was previously doing so I'm excited to kind of gain my muscle mass back because the last time I did a check-in with my personal trainer I lost about half a pound of the muscle mass that I had taken so long to gain so um, that's kind of my goal for right now. So that's kind of this morning's plan is to go and do that. And then I want to come back and do a bit of a cleanup of the house. This past weekend, my friends and I did the Faded in the Park Festival out in Surrey. It was so much fun, we had a blast. But um, having people over, your house just inevitably gets a little bit messy. So it's not bad at all. I just got to do a bit of a little once over and a cleanup. So yeah, I think that'll kind of be my morning and then we'll reassess there. I might do a little bit of food prep this afternoon. I might film, I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel and kind of go from there. But I'm gonna finish off my juice and go make some breakfast and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. And I spilt my juice. This is a great start to the morning, don't worry. Where are you going? Yoga. What you drinking? Um, blueberry and maple kombucha. Or is it kombucha? I'm not sure, I don't drink it. <laughs> Pretty good. See you when you get home. Love you. Bye. Bye. 
Alrighty, let's collect my gym bag and get going to the gym. Hello, I thought I would plunk a squat because it's been a little while since I spoke to you guys. So I was at the gym and I'm just going to be super honest. As I said, it's my first time back. It's my first time back in a couple of weeks for sure. And that's uncomfortable, definitely, to say the least. It's never fun going back and getting back into a fitness routine and feeling sore and slow. And we've all been there, I'm so sure. But I've been really, really having problems, like I said, with my digestion stuff, and it has made it absolutely excruciatingly awful to do things like working out, because every single time that I am, or every single time that I am contracting my stomach and trying to hold my abs in and keep really tight, I have to fart, or I have to poop, and it sucks. It's absolutely horrible. It is no fun whatsoever to be concentrating on that versus concentrating on your form, or what you're doing, or ripping out another set, or just I found it really fucking difficult you know and as I said in my food sensitivity video not diminishing anyone else's struggles I'm just sharing mine this is what I'm dealing with right now and I don't want it to come across as all I do is complain and put it out there that this is awful and blah 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 but I just I share my life online you know and I, I have to be very transparent with this is something huge in my life that is affecting absolutely every single aspect of my life and so that is my day-to-day -day at the moment there's children everywhere. That is my day-to-day -day at the moment, and it's it's just been tough, that's all. So I don't wanna feel or seem down in my vlogs, but unfortunately, I, it's just, like I said, it's just a part of what my daily life has consisted of right now. So is what it is, but I definitely didn't have the most comfortable session because that's all I was freaking thinking about because it was what my body was doing. So that's no fun. Um, I got a protein shake after the gym and then I went and got my toes done. I needed to get my toes done forever. I'm pretty sure I say this every single time I go get my toes done. And um, right now I'm just headed home. I need to lip chap my lips because my lips are so sore. So I think that this afternoon I might just hang out around the house, do some chores as I said earlier. I'm gonna do a bit of cleanup. I need to clean my beauty room, so that's definitely a priority. But I just did want to put it out there that there might be some, ooh, that wind. There might be some vlogs that I don't completely vlog the entire day. I might just vlog my morning, or I might vlog a little separate chunk of my day when I have that energy and when I have that kind of, I guess, parts of joy of my day. That's what I want to capture. I don't want to capture all the things that I'm struggling with. I do want to share them, but I don't necessarily want the vlog to be about that. So some vlogs might not necessarily be the entirety of my day because I am so up and down a million times within the span of 24 hours that I don't really know if I can mentally do that. But I do want to share what I am loving and I am doing. So I'm going to film when I'm happy and film that part of my day for you guys. And my camera card's full. Bye! See you guys at home.
came home to a guitaring boy and I got two new packages. So let's go in the bedroom and open them up. So I've already opened them up just so that I didn't waste time like unpackaging because my camera card is almost full again. Um, I got some new sheets and I'm really excited because I haven't purchased new sheets in a long time. It's been a long time. The ones that I currently have are from Urban Outfitters. They're really good, but the problem is I have a queen size bed with a king size doona. So it really like overhangs on the sides, which is great. But when it's really hot out, there's just no escaping the, the blanket. You're just like dying of heat. So these blankets are like really, really hot. So I really wanted to try a different set to see if that kind of helped us out with the hotness of that. So I purchased these from, like I said, West Elm. They're this beautiful like burnt coppery orange color. Um, it's showing up a lot more orange on camera, but they look beautiful and they're super soft. I'm really excited about that. They're Tencel or Tencel. Um, I believe that that is, I want to say it's like eucalyptus or something like that. So produced from sustainable eucalyptus forest, Tencel fiber is exceptionally soft, smooth and silky, naturally absorbs and wicks away moisture and won't pill or fade with washing, which I was totally sold on the absorbing and wicking of moisture because I'm a sweaty person. Hello, have you seen my hair? For the sham, I got two pillowcases and then I got a um, fitted sheet that was a gray polka dot kind of sheet. So I think that that'll look really cute. I also got a pillowcase cover because I thought that these might not necessarily go with the orange. So I'm just gonna chuck a pillowcase cover on top and it's like this really pretty navy blue um it shows up really really dark right here and then it shows up really really light if i go like this but i think that <laughs> it's somewhere in the middle of those two colors so i'm excited for that the other package had an obscenely large amount of plastic and boxes in it for only one mascara so that was a bit of a bummer. I have spoken about that on my Twitter before and I would really appreciate if you would go onto my Twitter and look at my pinned tweet and share it to all of your favorite brands. I really wanted to address the excessiveness of PR gifting because it's it's just it's ridiculous. The, I get really passionate about it because it's just something that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm sent a lot of stuff and I'm so, so grateful to receive new products and get to work with brands and have such cool opportunities. But the thing is, is I am sent so much stuff that is just excessively packaged. It's ridiculous. There's no rhyme or reason why anything should have that much packaging. Like the box that I just received had the mailing box within a box that was wrapped in two layers of bubble wrap and inside of that box was one tiny little mascara and it's just like at what point does it just become too much you know and so that's why I'm talking about it I think a lot of people had originally taken my original tweet as like oh poor you you're getting sent stuff and you're complaining that's not the case at all like I will gift that to you ma'am like it's not about the things it's about the unsustainability of how we are sending these things because it's just ridiculous. It truly is. You do not see that packaging when I show that product in a video or if you do, you see it for two seconds. It's something that's just like, oh, there you gone. And then it's just waste. It's garbage. A lot of it can be recycled and that's great, but a lot of it can't be recycled and a lot of it is random, large, plasticky things that brands are trying to do some big presentation of their new product with and as cool as that may be, it's just not smart to be sending that out to hundreds of beauty influencers who then have to deal with that waste and I bet you anything, most people probably don't recycle the way that they should, just the truth. So anyways, I think that that is a super important topic to speak about. If you are interested in fighting the good fight, go onto my Twitter and uh, retweet my pinned tweet because I think that that, I don't know, I think that that at least would start the conversation. So hopefully brands see it and hopefully some change is made because this is ridiculous. And I already am an influencer that requests absolutely no extra PR packaging and I still receive that. So if you're an influencer and you can make a difference on this, Please. Okay, I'm going to not continue to look like this <laughs> and I'm going to do a bit of cleaning around the house so I might talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm looking outside my window I try to see where my luck goes I just don't know how it slips out
Excuse me, what is this? <laughs> I look like a serial killer clown. literally just flipped over to 10 minutes. 10 minute phase, oh yeah. My mom got us these chairs for Christmas and they're the handiest freaking things ever. They just set up to be that and like they're little and tiny in their package. They're wonderful. Do you like my grumpy cat? <laughs> it's the best. My chocolate chip chai. I'm ready. You look like you're playing didgeridoo when you're blowing on your tea. <laughs> I'm so scared because I'm not exactly sure how hot it is. Go so slowly because if one extra drop comes on my lip, I'm if a drop comes on your lip, one drop. <laughs> 